Jalen Hurts versus Kyle Murray week one? I think we're up for the challenge. Let's go get it, gang. Now, last time we played the Cardinals, I believe it was in, what, like 2020? It was Jalen Hurts' first year, trying to get acclimated as a starting quarterback in Philadelphia. We all know he had to take the job from Carson first, working with, in my opinion, mediocre wide receiver talent. At that time, we had Alshon Jeffrey as a wide receiver. We had Jalen Rager as our number two. What do you mean? And then we also had Quez Watkins. That was a gym on the team at the time. So. Hey, a lot of things have changed. We've now upgraded this wide receiver core. We now got A.J. Brown. We now got Devontae Smith. Quez Watkins is looking like he's going to be the number three. I like my chances. That's all I'm saying. But a early sneak peek preview. There are some things that I did not like from that first game when we played Arizona. Now, before we even dive into that horrific film, because, yes, it was absolutely awesome. But at the same time, listen, the Arizona Cardinals, this is a well-built team. This is a playoff caliber team. I believe they went 11 and six last year. Kyler Murray, DeAndre Hopkins, we all know he's gonna be suspended for six games. So, I mean, the Eagles are catching a break there, but we ain't gonna act like they didn't acquire Hollywood Brown from the Ravens. They also got AJ Green. James Conner is a solid Pro Bowl running back. Again, this ain't a team to be slept on offensively. We also know they got a fan home favorite, Zach Ertz. He's coming into town. They picked up some nice pieces in the draft with Trey McBride. I can go on and on about how loaded this Arizona offense, especially once DeAndre gets back, these boys are going to be in full effect. So, again, this is going to be a tough task for Jalen Hurts and the Philadelphia Eagles, but I definitely think that they're up for the challenge. Now, defensively, Arizona, hey, we need to make sure this game, when we do play them, we need to make sure it's run heavy focus. Arizona was not one of the best teams with stopping a run last year, so we know the identity of the Philadelphia Eagles. They definitely need to be running the ball this game, if that's what it's gotta be. So there are three, four defense. They got a strong secondary. I ain't gonna lie, Buda Baker is not no joke in that secondary back there. I mean, they got a solid stout linebacking group also. So again, tough challenge for the Philadelphia Eagles. But again, I like our chances with Philly, but we gonna go ahead and show our memory lane real quick. Let's take a look at some of this tape because some of this stuff does disgust me. All right, now starting this off, first things I'm immediately seeing, listen, Jalen Hurts, you gotta throw the ball away. Not intentional grounded, you know what I'm saying, when you feel in the pressure like that. Of course the wide receivers were clamped, so again, a lot of this stuff, self-inflicted wounds. Things Jalen Hurts can learn from, definitely. Now looking at this kind of a play right here, this is just straight sloppiness. This is the stuff I'm absolutely tired of seeing. Derek Barnett showing up on the tapes for the most penalized defensive lineman probably in the league. That has to stop this year. Next we see here just a poor tackling effort. Absolutely pathetic. Oh my God. Like we got players out here whipping on tackles. And then as you can see, Kyler Murray just slides in the end zone. Then of course to finish it off, we got the, the blocked punt. Again, can't nobody block nothing it didn't look like. So these are all things the Eagles got to clean up within house. So after looking at this tape, there's a lot of things that come up, such as self-discipline. I mean, we were one of the most penalized teams in the National Football League, which was absolutely terrible. The punt coverage team, I mean, we over here just, you know, giving up points to Arizona at the time. Attentional groundings, throwing safeties, 
I mean, it was a horrific game. Again, it is what it is. The tackling was absolutely pathetic that game. But the Eagles have done enough, in my opinion, this offseason to try to mask and cover some of that stuff. So we've completely revamped the linebacking group now. Listen, we know we still got a question mark at, at the secondary position. Let's go keep it what it is. But the D-line, I expect more pressure. I expect for us to have a better tackling effort. I expect for Derek Barnett to keep his penalties under control this year. There's a lot of things that I expect. And if, if a lot of things that I expect go right, it is what it is. We should come out here with this win. So, again, y'all let me know y'all's thoughts in the comments below. I like this matchup, especially for a week one. And then right after that, we got the Vikings week two at home. Oh, yeah, we won't come out with some tough, strong opponents. Again, this is a no excuse. No excuse. No excuse. Here. So I ain't trying to hear it from this organizational staff. I really ain't trying to hear from Jalen Hurts either. We now got the talent around him. A.J. Brown should be doing this thing. Hey, Miles Sanders, I expect game one against a team that's really not got the best one defense. Oh, I expect for Miles to get busy also. Y'all let me know y'all's thoughts in the comments below. Y'all think the Eagles got a chance in this game? I already know the Cardinals will more than likely be favored, but we like it that way, gang. Y'all already know we underdogs. That's just what it is in Philadelphia. So y'all let me know. But y'all have yourselves a safe.